Hey, I'm Kat. And I'm the Drunk Bridesmaid. Today we're going to test out $2 Shein sleeve tattoos. I'm going to see how long they last, what it's like to take them off, and what are some good tips to keep your fake tattoos lasting longer. Let's give this a shot. I'm actually going to trim off this little top here because I want to make sure that it doesn't stick onto my skin. And we'll just peel this top layer, the plastic off. I'm going to apply this face down onto my dry, clean skin. Here we go. Okay. And I've got a damp cloth here. We're gonna do this for 60 seconds. As the paper is wetting down, I think it's going to bend around my arm a little better. There we go. And I was a little nervous to try to do this myself, but it was kind of hard to find somebody to help me with this right now, so let's see if it works. nervous I couldn't get this to go straight. We'll see if it looks bad. Okay, so I think it's ready. Let's take it off and see. Holy crap, this looks badass. This actually really worked. I'm, I'm amazed. This, <laughs> this looks awesome. My arm feels super tight though. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna bend my arm. Wow. And I was worried about the application process at the top because I couldn't get this to lay flat, but I really don't notice it. It, it turned out really great. None of it peeled off when I peeled off the paper. Check it out. This feels super tight on my arm um, and I'm noticing lots of like little wrinkles when I move my arm. So we'll see if that starts to look a little more natural once it fully dries. But so far it looks pretty freaking cool. Yeah. All right, let's try the other arm. Now we're gonna try the magical unicorn wolf tattoo. Okay, come on it like that. It's already a little bit sticky, so you see it's, once you set it down, it sticks on your arm. I would try not to move it around too much after you've set it on your arm, because we don't want to kind of mess up the ink. So here we go, have my damp towel. Alright, I think it's ready to come off. Let's check this out. Woo! <laughs> this looks awesome! You can see that I actually forgot to, I actually when I was trimming off the top here, I missed a little bit and you can see it came off on my arm. So definitely if you're doing these tattoos, you want to trim off all of the top because that's going to be a little bit annoying to get off. <laughs> But seriously, these look really cool. I can see right, right away there's a little bit of bubbling here. So I'm just gonna press down. This didn't happen with my other tattoo. There's a little bit of air bubble that got in here. It's a little hard to see. Let's see if you can see it, yeah. Just pinch the bubble and just press it down. There we go. Okay. I have to say the application process on this was really easy. I can't believe that it didn't rip or tear anywhere. Uh, it really only took a minute of wetting it down. 
Um, these are like super no fuss uh, giant arm tattoos. Just like the other tattoo up close, I can see a lot of like little tiny wrinkles here. Um, it's just because it's probably covering so much of my skin that when it moves, it's a little it's a little bit tight and weird. But ultimately, this looks so cool, and I'm really excited to see how long this lasts. Here we are on day two of the tattoos, and I think they're looking really great. I slept with the tattoo sleeves on, and I thought that it was gonna rub off all over my sheets, and thank goodness it didn't. I do notice there's a little bit of flaking here happening right where my arm bends, uh, but other than that, uh, the whole tattoo is really staying on my arm very well. I'm not seeing any other flaking. It looks great. It's not as tight as it was yesterday. Yesterday it felt really weird moving my arms. The material has loosened up a little bit, uh, so it feels a little more natural. So now I want my tattoo to last even longer, so I'm going to try adding some lotion, rubbing that on my arms, and then dabbing with some powder. Here we go. I'm hoping that the lotion will keep the tattoo from flaking as much, and that it'll hopefully last longer. So I added that, and then to make it look more realistic, I'm adding the powder so it has a little bit of a matte look to it. I think finishing the tattoo with the makeup powder actually gives the, a matte look that looks a little more like an older tattoo, like it's been on me for a while, which I really like. I think that makes it look a little more realistic. Cool. So I'm gonna keep checking in and we'll see how long these babies last. Here we are, day three of the tattoos. They actually still look really good and they're holding up nicely. Uh, you can see there really has been very minimal flaking. There's just a little bit that's happened on my one elbow here and in the crook of my arm it gets a little bit sticky sometimes. So I found powdering it actually helps a lot uh, if you really want your tattoos to last a long time. I've, I would definitely recommend adding uh, lotion and then powdering gently and just keep powdering maybe a couple times a day just to keep things from getting sticky or starting to peel away. So I went for a long run, uh, I wore a jacket, I've been picking up my puppy, and I've been expecting all of these things to wear down my tattoo, but thankfully it's been holding up really nicely. Um, when I took a shower today, I made sure not to scrub my arms, I just got them wet. Um, and I'm, I'm gonna try to be very gentle going forward here because I want this to last as long as possible. This is day six of the tattoos, and you can see that it is starting to fade. Um, the color is definitely not as vibrant as it was when we started on day one, and there is uh, some deterioration happening a little bit more aggressively here in the um, arm joint here, right here on the elbows, and you can see on the sides of my arm where I've been leaning on things, it's starting to come off just a little bit. Um, ultimately, I think it's holding up very well. It hasn't like peeled off in any large chunks, and um, my forearms here, they seem to be holding up really well, so I'm a little bit nervous how hard this is gonna be to take off tomorrow, so we'll see about that. One thing I've been noticing is that at night my arms start to get a little bit sticky and they actually stick to my pillows and things. Um, it hasn't rubbed off on my sheets yet, which is amazing, but um, I think to kind of counteract that, you could just take a little bit of water and gently rub your arms before you go to bed and when you wake up to sort of reduce a little bit of that stickiness. I'm ultimately still impressed that these giant tattoos have stayed on my arms and I've managed to stay very active. Um, I've been wearing sweaters and jackets and things like that that I thought would rub off pretty quickly, but uh, we're still holding up and tomorrow I will be taking these off at the end of the day. So I'll get to show you how that works out. It's been a week and we are now ready to take these tattoos off. I've got some makeup wipes here It's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Wow, these are really sticking to my arm. Okay. I'm 
gonna try my a second method here. Just a paper towel that I've dabbed in olive oil and I'm hoping that will do the trick because <laughs> the makeup wipes are not really working. Oh yeah, that's working much better. This is making a huge mess on my floor, by the way. And I have a long ways to go. I probably could have even gone another week or two before this started peeling off on its own. I'm gonna try to wash the rest off with some soap in the shower. Uh, let's see how this arm does. Wow, this is a process. I think I've loosened it up enough that if I put a bunch of soap on in the shower, I'm hoping this will rub off. So I'm gonna come back to you guys as soon as I've washed this off and we'll see how long it takes. So it's been a solid half hour and I finally got the tattoo sleeves off my arms. When I was in the shower, I scrubbed with soap and uh, it wasn't coming off that well. So I switched over to um, bath oil and that really seemed to work a lot better. I still had to scrub and scrub and scrub to get these off. And uh, I noticed that the tattoos were coming off in these black goopy chunks. Tried to rub as much of it off as I could before I hopped in the shower. And I tried to collect as much of the tattoo residue as I could so it didn't clog up the drain. So definitely be careful of that uh, if you're going to try to wash these off in the shower. I did try using a little bit of hydrogen peroxide on um, a little sponge to see if that would help get it off and uh, it didn't really work like a magic solution so I would try stick to the olive oil or baby oil or another oil based remover. Um, it's just a lot easier and softer and safer on your skin. I loved having fake tattoos for the week. I loved how vibrant they were and how realistic they look. I had a few friends that actually thought that I had real tattoos. I'm amazed that I was able to fool them on Instagram and in real life. This was a cool design and it lasted for a long time. I think the sweet spot was around three to four days. After that, it started to fade a lot and started to peel around the edges, so it looked a little less realistic. But you definitely could make this go for a whole week if you take good care of your tattoos. If you try this out, I would love to hear in the comments below, and please be sure to subscribe to The Drunk Bridesmaid because I have many more crazy tutorials. Cheers.